Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the uh, thermal stresses. Thermal stresses is also known as the temperature stresses because uh, these are the type of stresses which create due to the change in temperature. When we increase or decrease the temperature of an object, the thermal stresses creates uh, an object and we call this type of stresses as the thermal or temperature stresses. So they are mainly related with the change of temperature. Now, I will explain this concept and will derive the equation for the thermal stresses and strains later on. First of all, I will show you that where we can apply the thermal stresses concept. For example, let's consider that uh, this is an object of length L and we want to increase or decrease the temperature of an object. When we increase the temperature of an object, the, uh, the length increases because it, it expands. But when we uh, decrease the temperature, the, uh, the length of an object decreases or we can say it contracts. So now this is an object of length L and let's suppose that we increase the temperature of this object. So the length of this object will increase and let's suppose that this is the increment length which has been increased so we call it delta L. In this case the one end is fixed while the other end is free. So this end has been increased to delta L. So we can say that either thermal stresses creates or not in this object. The thermal stresses is zero in this object. Thermal stresses are zero in this object because there is no restraint on the right side to constrain the movement in this direction. That's why there is no stresses created in this object because of the free end. You should always keep in mind the thermal stresses always create an object when there is some restriction to the object. I will show some other example now similar example and let's suppose we restrain this object now and we increase the temperature of this object so due to the increase of this temperature the length will increase of course the length will increase and we call it delta L but in this case there is some restriction provided to the uh, to the object on the right side so that's why there will be stresses created in this object and we call these type of stresses as this thermal stresses because it occurs due to the change of temperature so if I call this is the length of the object original length of the object so we have thermal stresses in this object right which is not equal to zero here in this case because we have a restraint to the object so it is the property uh, that we should must that our object should must be restrained to produce the thermal stresses inside object and these thermal stresses are related to the temperature when we have more increase of temperature the more thermal stresses will create in an object now I will derive the equation first of all for the thermal strain the thermal strain relation is directly given to us that, uh, that the change in length yeah, this is the change in length delta L is equal to the alpha delta D and the original length alpha is the thermal coefficient of expansion thermal coefficient of expansion a delta T is the change in temperature that how much we change the temperature the more change in temperature the more uh, increase in the length and the less change in temperature, the less will be the change in the length and L is the original length right what we have in original case original length so and these are some parameters uh, on which the delta L depends these are the alpha alpha uh, for different material is different for example for steel we have different thermal, co the thermal coefficient of expansion for concrete we have different for wood we have different so the more alpha value the more will be the uh, delta L value and similarly the more change in temperature the more delta L value and similarly the original length of a uh, larger beam so we have more delta L now to define the strain I will write the strain equation is now to define the strain I can define the strain as the strain is equal to the change in length divided by the original length so as we know that the change in length is dependent on these three parameters so I can put the values of delta L here so alpha 
delta t and L and divide by the original length original length so this L, L will be cancelled so we are only remains with the alpha and delta t so these are this is called as the thermal strains creates in an object due to the change of temperature so thermal strain only depends on the alpha value thermal coefficient of expansion and then the change of temperature value now the thermal stress as we know from the Hooke law the thermal stresses are equal to the the stresses are equal to the strain and the uh, elasticity so now I will write the uh, put the strain value here which is alpha and delta t and e elasticity is here so we can find the thermal stresses in an object that how much stresses is being created in an object when there is some restraint well it depends on the alpha value it depends on the change in temperature and elasticity of the material hope you guys understand the concept of the thermal stresses Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.